Hello everyone. Today we will talk about assignment number seven. I will show you the way that you should provide the complete solution for the final exam. For example, if we face with such questions related to uh, is phylogenetic trees. Okay, the difference between this example uh, comparing with the one that we mentioned in the lecture is related to this matrix because in the lectures we directly gi given you uh, the distance matrix but here we are seeing the pairwise scoring matrix of species so the question is how we can convert such scoring matrix into distance matrix and the rest will be exactly the same as we explained in the lecture. So uh, in order to do that, uh, as also I mentioned as hints in the assignment, uh, we consider the ones from the diagonal zero for the distance matrix. So if I want to write the formula, what can I write? So I can say, for example, distance of, let's say, xi for each one of the species and consider another species. So distance between two species. If i and j are exactly equal, so we are talking about exactly the same uh, column and row, I mean, uh, the same species, like human with human, mouse with mouse, cat with cat. So in that case, you consider the distance zero. So if I and J are equal, that's the case. What if they are not the same? If I and J are not equal. So X, I, X, J, so in that case, uh, one suggestion is to consider the inverse of that element. It means that we have the scoring matrix. So what's the inverse of scoring of xi and xj? You have the score, so you just simply uh, consider that one. No, this one not necessary whenever i and j are not equal. So this is the formula that you should write also in the final exam if you are dealing with phylogenetic trees. This is a general formula and now one by one, we should find out about the distance matrix. It means that you should again construct such a table. Now, instead of pairwise scoring metrics, we will have elements of the distance metrics. And now we know how to calculate them one by one. Uh, and also, uh, you know, in the exam, we care about sub formulas. It means that for each one of them, you should write exactly uh, how you calculate them. Like, for example, for human, you can uh, use the initials H, M, C, D, here it, it starts with C, you can consider another letter like, let's say, K, uh, to make it easier. If you want, you can even use the titles, but it's, it makes it easier and faster in order to type it and also consider it inside the formula. So uh, when we say, for example, I is equal to one, J is equal to one, it means that we are uh, we are trying to find the distance between human and human, the same species. So in that case, it is right away zero because I and J are zero. In order to write the formula, then in that case, you write the distance between human with another human. This is equal to zero. Distance between what is the next one? Assume that I want to find about this value. Mouse and human. So 
here we will have mouse and human. This one is equal to 1 over the score of mouse and human. So it will be 1 over 30%, 30 uh, 30%, which is equal to 3.3, and it goes on to infinity. So um, as you can see, first we need to show the general formula like this, and one by one for each one of the cell of the distance metrics, you should again uh, write the formulas one by one and fill the table. Like again, you will have, for example, here you had human, human, again, the same situation. Like here we have human, here we have human, here we have mouse. So you should fill the whole table again. And then we reach finally the one that we had in the lecture. And from that time, it's very easy to uh, construct the phylogenetic tree. So how do we understand, for example, which one should be in the same group based on the method that we mentioned, UPGMA? Because uh, that's the only method we are using now for phylogenetic. There are other methods, but this is the one uh, we are asking also in the exam. So we are using the clustering method for that. It means that you should find the minimum value inside the distance table. Now, this is the distance table, right? This is not the uh, scoring one. So, by the way, this one's supposed to be D. <laughs> it looks like we are trying to get the derivative, but no, this is D. So, uh, as, as soon as you find out the table, as I say, it's easy. You find the minimum value, not from the diagonal. Don't consider for example, this zero. Uh, consider from other values inside the table. For example, so we say don't consider the diagonal. We consider the distance version of these values. Don't uh, consider directly from the scoring metrics and construct your phylogenetic tree from here. As soon as you found your distance metrics, then from those values, find the minima. If, for example, in another cell, let's say here, oops, sorry, uh, what we have here, for example, cats, let's say here, it happened to be zero by accident, because we don't know which characteristic uh, we are comparing these two species. It usually doesn't happen in nature, like uh, it's exactly the same, but sometimes it happens, you know, or like when we talked about uh, local alignment, let's say I'm talking about just the uh, local alignment of two genes from two different species. And for example, these three nucleotides are exactly the same in that region. So they have the same codon uh, exactly in that region. So 100%, for example, for human and uh, cats, we have the same codon in that specific region. So we don't know exactly which characteristic we are talking about when, I gi when I've given you this pairwise scoring matrix. Maybe uh, it's just related to a specific region or, um, for example, uh, here, in that case, we say it is exactly 100% the same for a specific gene. Then it happens to be zero between two different uh, species. It can happen. So when this happens, it means that this one can be considered also as minima. Don't consider the zeros on diagonal, as I say, for the same species. But for different species, it's possible to consider this zero. Then based on that, uh, based on the algorithm that I've told you in the lecture, you can uh, find the clusters and at the end, construct the phylogenetic tree. So uh, I tried to explain in details related to 
how we can solve such questions if we face them in the final exam. So now please uh, let me know if you have any questions about them, uh, if uh, something is not clear about how we can solve such questions.